Yo, hello guys. So we're going to take a look at the Golden Boys uh, nominating contract pack. All right. So the first one we have Saliba. Saliba is solid center back, but there are better center back for five star contract. I do not suggest for you guys to go for him. Uh, defensive wise, this card has a little bit higher stats, a bit higher defensive awareness uh, compared to the Arsenal pack here plus seven so yeah this is better definitely a better card than the other saliba card with the team play style 90 so if you are arsenal fan yeah maybe go for him uh if you already have the play of the week card it's almost similar so not worth it but yeah i won't suggest for you guys to go for him if uh you're not a fan of arsenal the thing is because his form is standard instead of unwavering so yeah don't go for it <laughs> but he has decent stat defensive when is high enough defensive engagement not 80 though uh jumping is not that high but the player skill he have all the play skill required aerial blocker weighted pass heading interception so yeah he's a decent uh player decent card but they are better center back with unwavering form maybe but just standard no way all right then we have uh, uh gavardio all right so if you want to go for a center back in this pack go for gavardio instead yeah, because gavardio is uh unwavering form has unwavering form a very good uh, defensive stats here okay so if you already have the play of the week, I, I already have the play of the week, so I probably won't go for him. Uh, but uh, for this card, it's, uh, he's actually a bit lower rated than the play of the week card. But because you can upgrade him yourself, so you can do something like this. Very high defensive stats compared to the, uh, the play of the week Vardio. Where he has plus 10 uh, tackling there. Plus 10, right? So basically, with this uh, with this card, you can focus uh, the player to be a center back. Okay? Because this play of the week, Gavardio, is more about flexibility. Where you can also use him as a left back. You can see the low pass here. Uh, 81. A ball control is good. Dribbling is good. So yeah, it's... It's more about the flexibility to use him as a left back. So that's why the defense is a bit low here, but still usable. But for this card, Gavardio, you can focus uh, to be uh, to make him as a center back here. So uh, speed, almost the same. Acceleration, almost the same. The main difference here is the low pass there. Right? Dribbling, ball control. Yeah, that's the main uh, difference and as you can see the overall for the play of the week card uh Gavardio is 92 but this one is 93 because he's a pure center back instead so you want to make him uh for a center back you want ball control at least 70 uh, lofted pass at least 70 okay because you want to pass if a long ball towards the cf so at least 70 ball control also at least 70 so yeah this this is good in my opinion for the stats i probably i most probably will go for him i if i do not have their play of the week card yet but since i already have yeah so i will be skipping this one but yeah get him if you do not have him yet because it's quite an upgrade to the base card with the uh, team play style all all at 90 one of the best card in my opinion as a center back uh for timber here because uh, this card is a four star card here but i think it's a five star in the game what is this four star here but i think it's a five star in the game nominating contract that we need um if it's a four star then i would suggest go for him because it's quite decent quite nimble in my opinion it's a bit on the shorter side uh can play at a lot of position it's kind of like a uh, kunde but kunde is better but Kunde can play left, so this guy is a bit more flexible. He can play DM too. Kunde can play DM. So he's a, a more flexible Kunde. 
defensive stats is not that bad. Yeah, this one is short to set. Extra front man, as I said, uh, ball control, lofted pass here, need to be 70 at least. So yeah, decent stats here. You can go for him. I think it's a 5 star, so probably just get Gavardiol. Unless you are using uh, Ajax team or Netherlands team. For Nuno Mendes here, with uh, Timber, yeah, unwavering form, so good. Weak foot, also good. For Nuno Mendes, uh, there are a lot of good fullbacks. I don't think this card is one of the best, but decent enough. Offensive fullback, if you like to use offensive fullback, because the meta is to put defensive instruction on the fullback so that you have four at the back. So, yeah. Probably not the fullback that people like uh, because defensive is not that good. Defensive stats here, obviously, because I'm pumping it, I mean, making it more, uh, a bit more balanced because it's an off offensive fullback, right? Uh, decent ball control, decent passing, crossing 80 here, but good speed. More of if you want to make a Portugal team. Of course, if you want to have a PSG team, you can play center back too. Mm. But defensive stat is not good enough. But yeah, I, I don't suggest go for uh, going for him unless you're making a Portugal PSG team. Uh, Dest here is a bit more flexible compared to Nunes, where he can play both sides, uh, left back or right back. But as I said, offensive fullback is not the meta here. Of course, he has quite a decent speed, uh, decent enough defense, uh, good enough dribbling and passing. But the thing is, standard form. So yeah, I won't suggest going for him too. But he does have double touch. So yeah, double touch is quite a good skill for a fullback. And pinpoint crossing, as uh, usual, is a good uh, skills for a fullback. Pinpoint crossing, okay? But yeah, I won't suggest going for them unless you specifically want to build a team for them because there are better uh, fullbacks out there. Right, so far, only Gabadio, okay? Unless you are making a specific team to have them inside. And then Ugarte here uh, is a bit of a unique card because uh, he's a box-to-box. But the thing is, his uh, play skills here is more about defensive uh, skills. Interception, fighting spirit, sliding tackle. Yeah, he's more of a defensive midfielder. So, box to box here. Yeah, just focus on the defensive stats. Obviously, there are a lot of better uh, players out there too. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend him unless... You're making a sporting team or a Uruguay team. Mm. Decent card. Form is standard. Yeah, but I won't suggest him. Okay, for here. <laughs> this card is a bit interesting because he is CF, but his stat is uh, more of a winger, actually. Good speed. Decent finishing. Yeah, he's kind of like a three-star card. Yeah, uh, the base card is a 3-star card, but some upgrade, okay? Yeah, plus 4 average. So, decent dribbling, decent uh, finishing, but no heading, stat, uh, heading skills, had, had their stats also quite low. So yeah, there's, there's a ton of good uh, uh, player, good CF. So, no. <laughs> and standard form. Don't uh, waste your contract unless you really want to build a team for him. Uh, Kudus here is a bit interesting too, but the thing is, the play of the month previously is a lot better than this card. So, I don't know, it's quite disappointing actually. At least make it the same. Yeah, because Kudus is performing quite well in the World Cup. So, yeah. This card is a lot better, 90. It's only 85. I'm building this card to be similar to this card, but it doesn't reach 5 overall difference. Uh, but this card is a 4-star card. This one is a 5-star card. 
So yeah, that's the thing. If you want to focus and make him as a CF, I think he can work. Maybe because here you can remove the defending. Here you can see the defending very high. Okudus, because he's actually a box to box in uh, eFootball 22. But in eFootball 23, he becomes a whole player. So yeah, he, he is a jack of all trades. His stat is like this. Uh, almost 80 in all uh, stats. But yeah, you can... If you want to focus, kind of like uh, make him like a proper CF here. You can do something like that, maybe. But yeah, it's, it, I, I don't think it's good enough to be like a fully focused stats here. Because it's, it's, uh, it's more a box to box. Yeah, decent enough. But double touch if he has a super sub maybe because he's in consistent form that's the thing i i wouldn't suggest for him if it's similar to this card then yes definitely this is a good card actually this could is this one not so much or uh if there's a four star event maybe but no this flavovich catch is a standard uh cf card good finishing good header a five star card yeah, great uh, physical contact there. Decent speed, good, decent ball control. Yeah, a typical one. Can never go wrong if you if you like him. Yeah, just go for him. Uh, have heading. Yeah, the the lacking part is the player skill. If he has something like a outside curler or a double touch or acrobatic, but he's more header, right? That acrobatic. Yeah, left footed. There's a lot of other good player, but he's, he's decent enough, good enough. I, I I can suggest him. If you want to go for him, you can go for him. Doku here, he's fast. Uh, but the thing is, he is 5 star. But the overall is actually 79 here. I think 79 should be 4 star. Uh, that's unfortunate why in the game he is 5 star. Maybe a bug. If he is a 4 star, then I would definitely suggest for him, but 5 star, no. It's better to go for Saka. But the thing is, this card is actually quite good. Dribbling 90, speed 90, acceleration 90. I do have uh, Luis Diaz, who has similar build like this. Dribbling 90, speed 90, acceleration 90. Very good, very fast. But his uh, low pass uh, is a bit low. So this card is actually an upgrade to that Luis Diaz. So yeah, this card is good, in my opinion, as a winger. Um, on downside is the standard form. He has double touch. Uh, it's a decent card. If it's a 4 star, then definitely a, a good card to go for. But 5 star, no. And then we have Saka here. A 5 star card. Yeah, go for him. Uh, this card is a bit lower. The stats compared to the player of the week. But still good enough. Still good enough. Uh, a bit balanced. The lofted pass is 80, can cross. Finishing is 70. You can see here the uh, play of the week. Have higher finishing, a bit, just a little bit. So it doesn't matter much. Yeah. If you do not have Saka yet, yeah, a good time to have him because he performed quite well in World Cup. One of the best players for England, in my opinion. Yeah, very fast. The thing is, he does not have double touch. But he does have Marcel turn for this card compared to the play of the week card. Yeah. He has penalty specialists. Why didn't he take the penalty? <laughs> Second penalty for England. But yeah, that uh, I can suggest him. Uh, for Gavi, here is the value match pass. So... It's 500 coins if you have uh, already bought the match pass uh, last uh, last time. But if not, you can get him for 250, 50%, right? This card is quite good because uh, he have both double touch MR Silton and true pass for an AMF creative playmaker. So yeah, a, a good card. 
I think this is almost similar to uh, Iniesta card in terms of stats. Maybe a little bit higher in the speed because that Iniesta card have like 70 speed. So finishing and curl almost the same actually. Maybe the Iniesta card a bit higher on the dribbling but and uh, this pass but almost similar. Almost similar. Uh, I would go for him if you do not have Iniesta. Yeah, this is a this is a good card for AMF. Uh, form is standard though. Yeah, that's the main difference between Gavi and Iniesta. Iniesta is uh, unwavering with B. <laughs> B form always a legend card. But yeah, this is this is a good card. If it's unwavering, then definitely just go for him if you do not have Iniesta. Uh, you can build him as like a passer here, a low pass 90. Or you can make him more like a more involved. Put him like sh you can increase his shooting here a little bit. Yeah, but definitely a very good card. I think this this one is more balanced for him. Okay, and the last one is Mukoko, the premium uh, match pass card. He has uh, good speed, good finishing. Finishing for CF, you want to have at least 80 okay uh but ball control here only 77 yeah i can't make it uh make it 79 at least maybe can reduce the the dax here right reduce the dax yeah maybe like that because you want to use him as a super sub the super sub plus one right Plus one balance ninety. Then uh, here, plus one seventy nine. Try to get the eighty account because with kicking power here also plus one during super sub. Maybe if shooting seventy nine, cannot not enough. Yeah, not enough. If not ball control seventy nine, uh, finishing seventy nine, kicking power seventy nine, balance uh eighty nine. So with super sub plus one, it'll become uh, 90, 80. Yeah, quite good. Uh, I think it's decent. Decent card for super sub. But no heading skills. Yeah, but it's fast. Bit short. So it's going to be nimble. 172 kilos. Half double touch. And super sub. Yeah, what more do you want for a fast CF? But form is two. Which is standard, but good accuracy, foot accuracy. Hmm, a decent card, but I probably won't go for premium pack unless you have the money. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, to recap, Gavadio is the one you want and Saka. Okay, I will also recommend to go for uh, Vlahovic or Doku. Doku only if it's a 4 star. Vlahovic only if you want to use him. Because they are better CF. But if you do not have. If you're new. Then it's a good CF. Can get the job done. Gavi. Yeah. Can go for him. Yeah. Gvadio. Saka. 2. 5 star nominating contract. Alright. So with that. I guess I'll see you guys. In the next one.